guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Aubrey, if you're new here. Today is Friday, no, today's Saturday. So we got some stuff for the weekend. Let me show you what we got. First, from Trader Joe's, we're gonna be doing some like pizzas that we make, hot honey pizzas, those are our favorites. So I got two pizza doughs and some Italian dry salami. And then you do some ricotta and some honey and stuff. Oh, and also some moths. Then we also got some corn. We're gonna be making this like a lote dip. So we got that. Garlic, onion, lemons, limes for some spicy marks. Oh, we're also having some stuff shipped from like Target shipped. So they just got here. Um, what else from Trader Joe's? Some sparkling water for some cocktails. Some navel oranges, cara cara navels. Cocktails, other things. I also got these folio wraps just for me. This elote seasoning for the dip. We also needed some avocado cooking spray because our Pam is almost out. I got these croissants for breakfast tomorrow and also these toaster waffles, which I love. Then we got some milk because we're also making mac and cheese. So we got some Monterey Jack cheese, cheddar and Gruyere, these jalapeno puffed rice. So good. Some aroma tomatoes. That's that. Pita crackers and the garlic spread dip. Brooks, cavatappi for the mac and cheese. Banana peppers just for me. Sour cream for the dip. I needed some peanut butter. I'm trying the Skippy's Natural, which is super chunk. I don't know, they really didn't have like many peanut butters. I've also been liking these little jello sugar-free puddings for a little treat at the end of the night. We got some American cheese and some jalapenos for the dip. I think that was everything. Perfect timing. Our Target order just got sh delivered. We got some spin drifts. I've been loving the raspberry. Some cranberry juice for cocktail. Some Diet Pepsi cake mix, because today's my brother's birthday, and I'm gonna make him a cake, and we're going to dinner later. Limeade, but they didn't have, so they gave us lemonade. Okay, that was the haul. Look at all this crap. We went to Trader Joe's, and we went to Fairway, which is like a regular kind of supermarket here in the city. <laughs> finished out this week with a deep deep clean so let me show you what I do for like the deepest form we did laundry the day before and I leave out some clothes on a clothing rack a lot of my PJs or workout clothes that I don't want to get pilled or ruined in the dryer so I saw which of those were dry the two skims pajama tops were still wet so I kept those on there folded all this clothes up and I bring it into the bedroom to get put away. Laundry is usually my task. Dan freaking hates it, but I actually love laundry. After I finished with the clothing, I had stripped down our couch. Our couch cushions are slipcover couch cushions, so you can pull them right off. toss them in the washer, and then I vacuumed up the couch because some feathers poke out of the cushion sometimes, so I love vacuuming it up. And then I have this thing from Amazon that is almost like a chomp chomp. It takes off pet hair, so I run that across the couch. This is the vacuum I have, the Shark Rocket, and it comes with all these attachments. This is under the bed. Look how disgusting that is. I really like, I do this pretty often, but look how disgusting that is. But it has this attachment that can go under the bed. So you sweep it like that. Reminder to go under your bed because it's where the most dust collects. So I'm gonna do that now. But I will link the vacuum we have because I love it. Vacuumed under the bed. Please do this just because you can't see the dust doesn't mean it's not there. 
And then I stripped our duvet cover. We actually ended up tying it wrong, so I had to use my teeth like an animal to get them off. But I took it off, threw it in the washing machine. Came back to strip the pillowcases and the sheets. We do the pillowcases more often than we do the sheets. And then I changed the sheets into some clean ones. Brooks plays this game with me because he refused to get off the bed. I went and got this little linen spray that we have to just make everything really fresh and nice. Put the top sheet on. Again, Brooks was playing games with me. Another little spritz. Then I put our bare duvet cover on because the duvet cover was going to be washed tonight so and I put some new pillowcases on there one of the biggest things I like to do to make our apartment feel really clean is clean the baseboards we have this little lip on them so a lot of dust gets on there so I give them a good vacuum oh little rogue feathers look what came home with them I mean All right, Dan's adorable, back to cleaning. I did another little quick vacuum of the couch because some feathers were still on there. Sometimes little pills form on the couch cushions from like moisture or our clothing. So I use a little shaver to get rid of those. And then I packed the couch back up. I took the slip covers when they were dry, shoved that fat cushion in there. This is a little bit of a workout because they almost like shrink up a little bit. So it feels like the couch is like more fluffy not shrink i don't want to alarm anyone but you know when you wash and dry your jeans and they just have like a newfound tautness the same thing happens with the cushions had to put brooks on the ground because he's again scared of everything scared of the vacuum scared of the cushions so we play this game but i fluffed up the cushions put them back in their covers put them back in the spot and here we are a brand new freaking couch I ended up calling it quits for the day, but then woke up the next morning and before I had even changed out of my pajamas or took out my heatless curls, I was on the cleaning kick. Something I like to do is wet a microfiber cloth, take a essential oil that you like. This one is Santal, which is like one of my favorite scents. I have some candles in the home and I kind of equate it to our home. So I like to use this one, put it on the microfiber towel with just some hot water and give everything a scrub. This is how I like to clean the back tiles of our kitchen, the cabinets. I really like wiping down the cabinets because there's like, you know, food splash. I had vacuumed them before, but this is when I now wipe down the baseboards, the lip and the actual board. Came over to the entryway, moved all of our little tchotchkes and wiped that down. It's almost like dusting, but a little bit better. Then I took the kitchen towels off to get cleaned, sprayed a little bit of this stainless steel spray on paper towels that you're gonna just throw away. And then you buff out the stainless steel on the microwave, the oven, and the fridge. Gets rid of those marks, cleans it. Stainless steel is tricky. So I also do it on the hand, what are these called, sinks? I almost said handlebars. Then I came over to the entryway, cleaned the mirror, cleaned our big mirror. I'm just bipping and bopping around. Then we cleaned the kit, the bathroom. I didn't really show you much of this because ew, here's the toilet, ew. Dan cleaned the bathroom and the shower while I dusted these mirrors and dusted off all the stuff in our bedroom. Look at Brooks just lounging. He loves being in bed. I think it was literally one o'clock at this point and he had not moved since after his breakfast he got back in bed. The finishing touch for me is I like to Swiffer wet jet the floors, gives the fresh smell and everything feels clean. And that was me cleaning my apartment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.